Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is very special as today we'll be exploring the city during the Ganpati festival. It's celebrated annually for 10 days in various parts of the country. Initially, the festival was started by Peshwas. The Peshwa in 18th century were devotees of Ganesha and started a public Ganesh festival in their capital city of Pune during the month of Padrapal. To the right, you can see the Shaniwar Wada. The Wada was normally a seven-story capital building of Peshwas of Maratha Empire. The port itself was largely destroyed in 1828 by an unexplained fire. But the surviving structure only remained the boundary wall of the fort, which is now maintained as a tourist site. While roaming around the area, I saw various local Ganpati Pandals. During this time of the year, the area becomes a happening place for a lot of deities who visit this place for the famous Srimanth Dagru Shade Halwai Temple. To the right, you can see the very popular Srimanth Dagru Shade Ganpati Mandir. The temple is around 130 years old and was built in 1893. The Dagru Shade Garve, a successful sweet seller or halwai, made an idol of Lord Ganesha on the advice of his spiritual guru following the death of his only son in the plague epidemic. The temple is very beautifully decorated during the Ganesh festival. But there you won't be able to see the idol of Lord Ganesha as during these 10 days of the festival the idol is moved to the pandal for the darshan. The pandal is kept very close to the temple and as you can see a gigantic Ayodhya theme pandal ahead that's the place where the idol of Lord is kept or where the murti sthapana is done for 10 days. As it can be seen, the whole street is decorated and people from various parts of the country visit and take blessings from the Lord and do the prayers. The Ganesha idol is 2.2 meter tall and 1 meter wide and is made of plaster of Paris. It is adorned with nearly 40 kilos of gold. The devotees of Ganesha offer him golden money and with every offering the Lord gets richer and richer. The temple is situated in the center of the city. Local shopping market is also nearby the temple. Walking along the market, I saw one more pandal where the Lord was all dressed up with beautiful ornaments. With each turn, I saw beautifully decorated pandals with Lord Ganesha sitting inside it peacefully. The 10 day celebration ends on Anand Chaturdashi with Ganesh Visarjan. Pune being the birthplace of Ganesh festival now celebrating all over India has its own share of rich history. A few old Ganpati's establishment holds importance over others during the immersion ceremony. Lokmanya Bal Gangadhar Tilak initiated the concept of Sarvajanik Ganesh Utsav. Now moving forward, we'll be discovering the five Manacha Ganpati's of Pune which are honored and respected as same as Sriman Dakrushe and are also established during the ancient times. Introducing you Tushiba Ganpati. Tushiba Ganpati is the fourth respected Ganpati in Pune. It was first established in 1901. The 15-foot high idol made up of fiberglass is also known as Hemandapanthi Murti. Tushiba Ganpati. An idol of Lord Ganesha was found near the house of Vinayak Thakur who used to reside close to residence of Maha Sahib Jizabai Bhus. The temple was built by Shivaji Maharaj and Jizabai Bhusle in year 1639. Moving ahead with the Manacha third Ganpati was Guruji Talim. Guruji Talim is the third respected Ganpati in Pune. It was first established in 1887 by two Hindu and Muslim families of Bhikkhu Shinde and Ustad Nalpan. This is the reason why Guruji Talim symbolizes Hindu Muslim unity in Pune. As it's the time of Ganesh Utsav, you can see a lot of 
crowd gather for darshan. This place is in the heart of the city, also referred to as the Old City. On every corner, you can see pandal set up with flowers and decorations, and with Ganesha sitting in the middle. Moving ahead, we have Tambri Jogeshwari. Tambri Jogeshwari is the temple of Goddess Durga, who is regarded as the Gram Dev, patron deity of Pune city. Tambri Jogeshwari Ganpati Mandal has the honor of being the second most prestigious one. Ahead, we'll be visiting Kesari Vada Ganpati. Kesari Vada Ganpati is the fifth respected in Pune. Since its inception in 1894, the Kesari Trust Ganesh Festival used to be organized as Vinsurkar Vada, which was then ancestral home for Tilaks. Then in 1905, it was shifted in by Parvada, presently known as Kesari Vada. Kesari Vada retains its century-old tradition and is considered to be the fifth revered Ganesh Mandal in the city. Every year, the five Mana Chaganpati and Sriman Dakrushi Thalwai Ganpati are immersed after a day-long grand procession with Dhul and Tasha revibrating the city and thousands of Punekar from across the city. Thanks for staying till the end of the video. If you like the video, consider subscribing to my channel and sharing the video. I'll see you next time.